Hello everyone. This is a 75 year old male patient who presented to us with complaints of dimness to vision in the right eye for 2 years. He gives history of right eye cataract surgery done outside 7 years back. The visual acuity on the patient was 1 by 60. On slit lamp examination, we could see that it was an opacified intraocular lens. So, an IOL exchange was planned. The patient had opted for a PMMA lens. and the patient had with the rule astigmatism of 1.75 diopter so a superior sclerocorneal tunnel was planted the superior conjunctiva was a little bit fibrous and dense at the limbus and the cornea had little bit of stromal scarring suggestive of a manual small incision cataract surgery previously done as the conjunctiva was fibrous and dense at the limbus peritomy was planned but a little bit posteriorly so as to avoid conjunctival tear peritomy is then performed carefully I prefer to avoid scleral cauterization in such cases as the conjunctiva and the underlying sclera are already fibrosed because of the previous surgery. Using a crescent blade a straight incision is made and with the same blade it is swiped from the right side towards left a couple of times till a scleral plane is achieved. Once the plane reaches the limbus with heel down very carefully a new tunnel is created it's very important that we create a tunnel little bit anterior to the corneal scar from the previous tunnel using a 1.6 mm super blade a paracentesis is created at the 9 o'clock position viscoelastic is injected using a keratome the anterior chamber is entered and the wound is extended on either side the anterior chamber is again filled with viscoelastic the optic haptic junction which is visible to us is gently nudged and lifted it looked like a foldable intraocular lens the haptic on the right side was in the sulcus and the left side haptic was in the back the right side haptic was raised using a sinski hook and then brought into the anterior chamber the sinski hook was engaged at the optic haptic junction on the left side and slowly the iol was dialed in a clockwise direction till the haptic released from the back and came into the anterior chamber using the sinski hook above and the visco cannula below the iol was explanted from the eye the explanted intraocular lens was totally opaque and white fibrous pco in the mid periphery and pearly pco at the equator was noticed so using a hydro cannula posterior capsular polishing was done very slowly once the polishing was completed using a simco cannula the released pco was all aspirated following which viscoelastic is injected into the eye we decided to place a 3 piece pmma lens in the sulcus for better stability a 3 piece pmma lens is taken the leading haptic is placed in the sulcus following which the trailing optic haptic junction is held with the sinski and then dialed into the sulcus area once the iol is stable the viscoelastic in the anterior chamber is flushed with bss using a simco cannula once the visco is all out the paracentesis is hydrated using balance salt solution as mentioned earlier the conjunctiva in such cases are very fragile and brittle so it's very important that we oppose the conjunctiva very carefully and avoid a conjunctival tear once the conjunctiva overlaps a little bit of the limbus it is then cauterized and intracameral moxifloxacin is given